Hello, everybody. Um, yesterday I had a video that was like way, 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 way too much information for one video. I had to talk so fast. I didn't really like it, but I posted it anyhow. And I'm going to go through some of the things that was on that video and just do them uh, at a slower pace where I'm happy. And it, and then you can get more out of it than me trying to rush through it. And I should have never did that. So today I'm going to make nose swipe. And rose ointment is a very good uh, ointment for this. Is, this is going to be the container I'm going to keep it in when I'm done too. It is very hard. It's for dry skin and stuff. So... Sometimes I'm going to put it on my nose. Mine will put some on my nose. Anyway, so I'm going to scrape it all out with my spoon into a bigger bowl. Then I'm going to be blending the oils into it with my blender. As you can see, it's hard to get out. It has this scent of rose, which is very, very good. This is the closest to a rose oil that I can get right now. Rose oil is like 200 something dollars a bottle, and I believe it's a small bottle like this, not a big bottle like this. <laughs> so, there's a difference. So, it takes a lot of rose petals to make rose oil. One day I will have a bottle and I'll be happy. I mean, I'm happy now, but I'll have my rose oil and I can do things with it too. I got it out. See? It all came out in one chunk. So I'll take my blender and blend all that up smooth and fluffy. I don't want to waste any of this, so I'm going to get all of it that I can. Okay, I'm going to put it back in there when I'm done. So I got my spoon here. Okay, got some more of this right here. Okay. Might as well. That's where it's going to go on. We'll put it there. Um, okay, I'm putting some eucalyptus in there because it said any type of eucalyptus uh, oil would work. This is eucalyptus radiata. I think those eucalyptus, eucalyptus lavas, another one. But uh, eucalyptus, eucalyptus radiata is what I'm using. And then there's raven. Oh, might get this closer so you can see raven and rosemary. And peppermint. That's the four oils I'm going to put into this. Um, it says here it don't say it don't say how many drops. So I'm just going to put like I don't know ten drops each. And we'll see what that does. So I'm going to get my mixer. Get the egg beater into the. Mixer. And get this all fluffy. Hopefully, I can without making a mess. Get it down. So it looks like now. So I start adding my oils to it. Scrape my spoon. Get it all in the middle again. I remember when my sister was little, I don't know how old she was. When she was still living at home, growing up, mom let her use the egg beaters to do something. I don't remember what it was. 
I don't think I was there. She just told me about it. And uh, she got the, her hair too close to the egg beaters and it got it caught in to the head, to the beaters. And it was spinning. So she just and ripped, ripped it off of her so it wouldn't be stuck anymore. I don't think I have the guts to do that. It's a little too harsh. I know that hurt. Love you, Tanya. Okay, I've got like 20 drops, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm changing it to ten. It's going to be a lot of oil. It's such a small amount of one. Minute. And then my peppermint. I don't know what this is going to be like. I've never made this before. I just learned this on my Zoom meeting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I know that the radio, radiatus, the uh, eucalyptus has like a vaporous smell. And peppermint will open up your nose as well. Uh, I'm not for sure about rosemary, but it said rosemary could be one of the oils, and I have some, so I'll put some in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And Raven, of course, is made for the respiratory help. I'm not for sure if I even need the egg beaters to do this. I probably can do it with my spoon now since it's already been whipped up. So let's see. Or maybe you can see it better if I did like this. Yeah. Who would want to smear this orange stuff all over their nose? <laughs> Uh, me. <laughs> it's supposed to be good for you and help keep the stuff that starts with the sea from getting into you. So, why not use preventive maintenance on yourself, protect yourself from whatever might be out there that'll harm you. Try to make it so you can still see. Gonna spill out, so <laughs> just try to match this up a little bit here. It's still got lumps in there. Looks like mustard or eggs. Don't smell like mustard or eggs. Got a few different oils in there. Smells really good though. Now I need to get me another bottle of rose ointment so I can have. A spare when I need it, I have some more. It's funny how you make make use of what you buy and you don't know what you're gonna do with it when you get it. Okay. It still has a look right here. Okay, I guess it's made. I'll just put it back in here and then I can use it for that. It says here 30 minutes before you eat. One more pathway to prevent inborn passengers from entering the, the body. Nose swipe. I don't want to waste any of this because I've got my oils in there. And and the, the ointment itself is, I don't remember how much it costs, but I can find out real quick. I have my book here. <laughs> Whoa, I almost dropped it. I think I'll take a 
paper towel when I'm done and wipe this out so I don't get these oils in my sink when I do my dishes. We don't need that, do we? So, it didn't fill it up like I thought it would, but it, I think it will spread out. I mean, it, that's nice. Nice consistency. Now all we need is like cotton swab. Dip it in a little bit and do my thing whenever I feel stuffy. Oh, here's what it looks like. Nice. And if you like this content and you want to learn more, follow me on my channel. Subscribe so you don't miss anything. And share it with other people that might be interested in learning ways of keeping themselves uh, healthy. And uh, give me a thumbs up if, or a thumbs down. Share with me your comments on what you saw and what you like to learn. So I can know things I can post. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful day. Ta-ta.